been solving equations with one variable for a while now. We know that we want to isolate the variable and place it all alone by itself on one side of the equal sign. Now let's look at some similar problems. Let's see how we can solve one variable inequalities. First, let's be sure we remember our inequalities. We have greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. Let's start with a simple inequality. This statement says that the variable n is less than 5. Think of some values that n could be. It could be 4, 0, negative 12, 4.9, or many other values. We can represent all of these values on a number line. We will draw a number line and shade in all the possible values of n. Since n is less than 5, let's begin by drawing a number line and locating 5 on that line. Since this inequality says that n is less than 5, that means n cannot be 5. It can be really, really close to 5, but it can't be exactly 5. So we draw an open circle at 5. This says that we're not shading in the 5, because n cannot be 5. Now since n is less than 5, we shade in all the numbers that are less than 5. If you're not sure where to shade, pick a value on the number line and test it. For example, let's look at 3. Since 3 is less than 5, it should be shaded in. If we had picked 7, well we know that 7 is not less than 5, so it should not be shaded. So we shade this side of the number line from 5 all the way to the end of the number line. We also shade in the arrow as well, because n could have any of the other values off this end of the number line. n could be negative 5, negative 20, or negative 1 million. Now let's see how we would graph other number lines. How would we graph 12 is less than y? We would draw a number line and locate 12. We draw an unshaded circle around 12 and we shade in this side of the number line. 12 is less than 13, 12 is less than 15, 12 is less than 100. All the numbers over here on this side of 12. Now, how would we graph x is greater than or equal to 3? Now we have something just a little bit different. We draw the number line like before, and we find 3. Now this time, x could be equal to 3. That's what the extra line beneath the inequality is telling us. So this time, we do want to shade in the 3. So we still draw a big circle at 3, but this time we shade it in. We draw a closed circle over the 3. Then we shade in all the values that are greater than 3 as well. And that's all there is to it. 